Hi there, Will Jang here, Master of Library Science. I'm a man with schizophrenia, not a schizophrenic. There is a difference. Please check my author blog below to see the difference. I'm the author of books such as Guide to Natural Mental Health and A Schizophrenic Will, A Story of Madness, A Story of Hope. All my books educate and inform and hopefully are useful. So um, today I want to talk about the new very exciting study about schizophrenia's strongest known genetic risk deconstructed straight from the website of the National Institutes of Health. Same right here, NIH.gov. Check it out sometime, lots of great information. So what is this amazing news? It turns out that this suspect gene C4 on chromosome six may trigger runaway synaptic pruning during adolescence, according to an NIH study. So you can see this, uh, this little map here of chromosomes and the risks associated with each of these chromosomes. Uh, there's 23 chromosomes um, in, the, uh, in the adult as well as the child DNA. And here is C4 on chromosome six. So um, the C4 that you see here is by and far and away the largest risk factor for schizophrenia, it seems. But the thing is, um, when you look at the totality of the risk factor genes, it is yet one of many. Maybe there are um, other links between C4 and the other ones, but that has yet to be proved. The synaptic pruning that they talk about when they talk about C4 happens mostly around the time of adolescence and also in, in utero. Um, so the brain basically to make the brain work better does do this naturally and in a healthy way. But when it goes into overdrive, you have um, things like schizophrenia that can happen. So, and back to this, uh, this graph, this is one small uh, gene. So it, it, look at the, the uh, if you imagine the area of this one gene and compared to the area of the rest of these risk factors, it's still quite small. The Cold Spring Harbor study about, I guess, five or six years ago that talked about micro additions and deletions in the DNA causing schizophrenia is, to me, was a much bigger deal than this one, although this one is exciting as well and a landmark study, of course. Um, so the, uh, this, this C4 gene, as we, we were talking about again, and the uh, immune system is important also because it solidifies what we've already known about the immune system playing a role in schizophrenia. And um, so inflammation plays a role in schizophrenia. The immune system plays a role in schizophrenia. And these two major um, issues um, basically can be helped to an extent with something called omega-3 fish oil in the long term. So yeah, it doesn't taste so good, but uh, if you do have schizophrenia and you take omega-3 fish oil in the long term, it might heal you a little bit. That's my, that's been my own personal experience. Highly recommended. Um, yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about C3 chromosome six, synaptic pruning and schizophrenia. Thank you for your attention.